Welcome back to another video and another software review. Today with a software that will allow us to recover data from computers that do not boot anymore, drives that have been completely erased over and over again. And if by any reason we are in that particular case, then Wondershare Recover It will help us in that. Now, if this name is familiar to you, Wondershare, it's because we have seen already in the past Wondershare Filmora, which is a awesome software in terms of video editing. So if you're looking for a tool for video editing, we'll leave a link right over here on the YouTube card so that you can check that out and probably try that software, which is awesome. Today, we are talking about recovery of data on Windows 10, Windows 11, or even Mac OS. If you are working with Windows and you still haven't activated your license, don't forget to check out KeysFan, where we'll find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code, you will get even a better discount. And the link will be down below. Just near to the Wondershare recovery, which is free to download, free to try, and even free to recover some data. And I will share that just now. Now, once we download it, in this particular case, on a Windows computer, we just need to install it, which is quite easy. And I did start with some light tests. And what we can do just out of the box is to scan the drive that it's not working correctly or the drive that has been formatted and see if we can gather and recover any data. And for this, we don't need to pay anything at all, which is awesome. So regardless of the software that you choose, this is the model that I do believe that it's the best and the fairest one because I can see actually what I will be able to get with the recovery before we pay for the premium or the pro version. Now, if we only need to recover 100 megabytes or less, then we can use it as it is. I did those tests and what I did was to format a USB drive that has data, in this particular case, photos and videos that I do bring from one computer to another one to edit videos and then to upload and so on and so forth. So it has a lot of stuff that has been erasing over and over again. Now, in five minutes of scan, it was able to get 66% of what it was able to get. And we are talking about 1,500 files, more or less. And from those, I did select three videos and three photos with 70 megabytes of total and guess what really easy it did get all those now moving to the pro version i did have a license to test it out and i did a little bit more tests now in terms of the test that i did uh, instead of just selecting 100 megabytes i did select roughly three gigabytes of files but it was able to recover some more. But just for this test, roughly three gigabytes, which were 14 videos. Now of those 14, 12 of those are working perfectly and two were known recoverable. Actually, they were recovered, but I would not be able to play back those movies. So they were broken. And this was actually great because instead of me producing a video file corrupted, which sometimes I need to do to test this kind of software, I did try the advanced tool to recover a video. So what I did was to put it on the advanced tool, which is meant to recover exactly this type of video produced by a camera, produced by a screen recorder that was interrupted or by a file that was not able to recover 100%. Now, the only thing that I need to select in this particular case is a similar file recorded by the same device that produced that particular file. In my particular case was the Sony camera that I'm recording at this moment. So I just placed one of those files as an example, then Wondershare recover it. We'll use its algorithm to see the data from one file and then rebuild the other file and basically that was it it worked awesome and i had the video back 
working. So far the experience was awesome. Now there is also a tab right over here which is targeted at video and photos and I also wanted to try that out so I did another scan and left it for about six minutes only. I didn't want to spend much more time although we could wait four or five more minutes. I did stop it there. Uh, it was saying that I had 10 gigabytes to recover roughly 210 videos and picture which is a lot. But the thing that I did love the most is that it will give me a preview of exactly what I can recover. So I can easily, without starting the recovery process, without paying anything, I can see what kind of video, what kind of picture I'm able to recover completely without using the advanced way. So this will happen to pictures, will happen to videos. And once I preview it, then I can actually buy the premium version to recover the video that I was looking for or the picture that I was looking for. In this particular case, those that we have a preview will be recovered on the normal way, just easy as that. Those that we don't have the preview, then we will need to use the advanced way but nonetheless we will be able to recover them all or i would say almost all the software also has a solution for a nash or network attached storage solution that we use here a lot now the one that i'm using at the moment is a asus store which is not on the list yet but if you have a synology or a keynap or a thickers then you will be able to recover data from lost data from a NASH. So hopefully in the near future we will also be able to do that on the Acer Store network attached storage solutions but for now only on those three and of course we can also do it on Linux if that's your case. Now lastly there is a function that it's only the second time that I'm seeing and this is to create a bootable USB drive through the Wondershare recovery that will enable us to boot a computer that it's not working at all, the drive has crashed or the Windows system has been corrupted and we are left with a laptop that we cannot format because we have our data right over there but at the same time we cannot boot that computer. So we will create a USB pen drive with Wondershare recovery and once we create that USB drive we just need to put it on a computer that it's not working select to boot from the USB drive and after that we will have access to a menu which will allow us to scan the computer and recover the files that we want from that particular drive or we can even clone the entire drive to another one that we have and basically that is it it will allow us to recover the data and after that we have the security to have our data security outside the computer so that we can format the computer and keep on using from a fresh start without losing the important documents that we had right over there. And basically this is it. A lot of functions but really easy to use. But instead of listening to me, I would invite you to download. The link will be down below. Try it for yourself. It's free and it's really intuitive and you will be able to see by yourself the files that you will be able to recover or not before purchasing anything. That being said, hope that the video was helpful and if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, today with Wondershare Recovered and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.